What do you think about State of Origin for the game of rugby union? Do you think it's, it's a good idea? Mate, um, I, I can't believe it's taken so long for uh, for it to, to sort of grow some legs and, um, you know, rugby union to, to sort of jump on board, you know. Uh, they talk about I, re- I remember playing for New South Wales and uh, and Waratahs playing against the Reds, um, and it wasn't the same in a sense because there was a lot of Queenslanders in um, in the New South Wales team, a lot of New South Welshmen in the Queensland team as well. But if they make it a proper state of origin now, um, I'm paying my 20, 30 bucks to go watch this game every day of the week. Mate, you haven't play- paid to get into a game in fifteen years. I'm sure you can get your free ticket to this. <laughs> Exactly yeah, there, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be up corporate fat cat in the corporate suites. We don't worry about you. Yeah, I know, mate. You can, you can tell too, can't you? Yeah, but what I was throwing out, Lottie, just before you came, was perhaps do we, do we need to relook at the names of our super rugby teams? Does Waratahs have to become Sydney and we save that New South Wales uh, Waratahs for rep stuff only? Queensland the same. Is it too late for that? Interesting yeah, what thoughts. do you reckon? I, I reckon that horse is bolted in a sense too. It's, um, you know, we've always sort of, I've always known that Waratahs to be New South Wales, obviously, and the rest of the Queensland. Um, I, you know, if they sell it somewhere else, I, I, you know, it's it's just starting again. I don't think um, in the current landscape, I don't think we could probably, you know, go from the start again as a rugby, as a game. So I think um, we'll sort of have to, you know, keep trudging on down, down that road. But I, I definitely think, the uh, state of origin would have massive legs. Um, yeah, wh- wh- what's been the talk? Wh- what do you reckon, Kay? Yeah, I mean, mate, I, I don't think you can change the name. I don't think the New South Wales Waratahs are going to let you change the name of Sydney Waratahs, are they? I mean, there's probably too much history in the jersey. Um, yeah. But look, I think maybe in the concept, it's just, you know, you, you know, end of the season, uh, whether or not it's a, it's a one game or three game series. You know, whether or not you, you played at the, um, you know, some of the rugby heartland like Ballymore, for example, or yeah, you know, some yeah. of the, you know, North Sydney Oval, you know, maybe yeah, it's a, a traditional, idea. a traditional yeah. maybe Saturday afternoon time that you normally play rugby at. Who knows? Um, you could probably sort of start jazzing it up that way a little bit. But I think, yeah, I think it's going to be hard to change the name. I reckon it'd be tough to play in those. I reckon after a year or something, I reckon it couldn't fit in a, you know, a Ballymore or a North Sydney Oval. Great, great idea. But, um, I reckon your you, you club rugby people up here, New South Wales, um, they'll be all over this um, and, and they turn up in droves. Um, and I, I think yeah, league true. fans will turn up in droves as well. But um, yeah, so so is this is this part of the new deal that they're, that they're thinking about introducing this, boys? Yeah, that's right. So McLennan's come out and said that, you know, as part of the broadcaster package that they're putting out yeah. there, they're proposing this. They're, they're prepared to work with a broadcaster to understand what it looks like. Is it a single game? Three games, how does it fit in? So it really is up in the air. And I think one of the best things about it uh, and is that I, I'm, I'm hoping to see more converse, controversy and conversation around rugby union. I think we've all been a bit too nice to each other lately. We're going to talk about hate in a second. But but just yeah. on this one, one of the conversations has been about qualification. Carmichael, mm. it, it's always been a big uh, discussion point, if you will, in league around who's actually qualified. What do you think the rules yeah. should be around qualification? Oh, I think where you play your junior footy at, I mean, you know, for me, you know, obviously I was born in New Zealand, but I played most of my junior footy in, in, in Brisbane. So, yeah. you know, I kind of felt like that um, qualified me. You know, you, you probably alluded to cases like Greg Inglis, who, you know, played some of their first games in New South Wales, but happened to obviously be, you know, a former origin great, which, you know, thankfully, you know, for Queenslanders, that was the case. But yeah, I think uh, junior footy, no, I'm not too sure what you think, Lottie. Yeah, I... Well, I, there's obviously New South Wales and Queensland. I think um, the concept could probably go one further with um, having a, a Pacific Island team um, of boys that represent, oh, yeah. of, that have been, you know, grown up um, and have that as a, maybe a third team. And then I don't know about maybe a fourth team because there's a lot of blokes that, how many blokes are, are from Melbourne and, and uh what do they do? The blokes from Melbourne, Melbourne and Perth. Perth. Yeah, there's a couple of blokes from Melbourne and Perth as well. Yeah, not quite, true. not yeah. quite the nurseries they've got at Queenie and Queen no. New South Wales, but so I think if we're trying to, um, you know, bring something different in, I think New South Wales or Queensland definitely, and and have that third um, combined Pacific team um, out of yeah, the boys. Nice. Yeah, because oh, I, I reckon we could probably get three teams out of that. I reckon. Hey, I think uh, mm-hmm. one thing's uh, for sure though, Lottie, you, you got to have the camps, don't you? 
You do have the, the camps, mate. I, um, it just depends on it just depends on the coaches and uh, and everything else. But yeah, some of those stuff are legendary. Um, back, oh, back in the day, tell me about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what makes it Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll definitely put my hand up as a, I think Kevy brings a few mentors into the Queensland camp. Um, I'll be putting my hand up either for a uh, Queensland gig for sure. Who, yeah, well, who's our, who would coach them then? Were we looking at Latho or someone for Queensland? Or Yeah, well, that's not a bad, that's not a bad option, mate. Berkey and then Lottie as a mentor, social captain. <laughs> is Berkey, is like Berkey team, still... Uh, is Berkey, mate, I reckon you could probably catch this at last walks. Oh, mate. The, the, what I did like about McLennan was he threw out, he wants classic Wallabies involved, he threw out Matt Burke, he threw out guys like that involved. So I reckon that yeah. come off, you alluded to it before, I loved that idea of, of carrying on the tradition and, and, and making the connection between former players, especially origin greats and the current crop. Mm. I think this is a really mm. natural, logical way of, of trying to promote that as well. I reckon that would be a huge byproduct is that better relations between past players and current players and and that can only be a good thing i would have thought 